Hey, good morning, guys. It's a Vlogtober day six, seven. Sure. Oh, seven, because today is technically October six. Anyways, I am just exporting yesterday's footage right now. It is six forty-five in the morning. If you're like Brittany, why are you in your pajamas and not at work? I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. I probably didn't because it was a little cray cray for me. Um, but yesterday, yesterday, today, I have a dermatologist appointment because I have like these two moles I want to get checked out and then I have like this thing on my eyelid I want to get checked out. Um, so I finally made a dermatologist appointment. I've been wanting to make one for a while and just never did. And my mom has been harping on me about the mole on like the back of like my neck. It's on my hairline and I've never seen this mole to be honest. So I have no idea, but she's always been harping on me to get it checked out for years. And now that I'm a mom, I'm like, you know what? Let me get this checked out because I'm trying to live as long as I can and I want to be healthy for my baby and be with her you know like god forbid the mole is cancer or something which i don't know i feel like it's not but i'm gonna listen to my mommy and get it checked out finally so i don't start work till 10 today my appointment's at 8 30 so i am just exporting footage right now from yesterday having some coffee and then right now i'm gonna actually go pack my lunch because the footage just exported so yay and i realized while exporting footage i didn't even realize this while editing which you would have thought i probably would have noticed but i never showed you guys like my finished product of my apple pie <laughs> so i like i actually had like a two minute clip of like showing my apple pie and then showing a laundra and like i just was like looking at it and i didn't even export it into iMovie and then i totally forgot to like edit it and i obviously forgot while editing that i even had this clip so i was like Ugh. Go figure. But I did finish the pie yesterday. It did taste really good. It does taste good. I mean, here it is. Here's half of it. So you can tell uh, it's been eaten. It's been well loved. So <laughs> I was just like, wow, Brittany, good job, girl. Good job. But yeah, I'm going to pack my lunch right now. I'm trying to decide what I want to take. Since there's leftover rice, I might take that with Vienna sausages before you barf. I love Vienna sausages. Don't hate, okay? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to figure out what to take for lunch, get all of that ready, get my pumping bag stuff ready, and hopefully I can get that done before my appointment and start editing. So I will check in with you guys later. Good morning. Good morning, pretty girl. Show us. Brinca, brinca, brinca. Brinca, brinca, brinca. Brinca, brinca, brinca. Muy bien, mamá. Muy bien. What are you watching? Mickey Mouse Club, our favorite. Is that our favorite? Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Perfection. She loves Mickey Mouse Club when they do the hot dog dance. Is that your dance, mamas? Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Yeah. Look at those little feet. Jump, jump, jump. Work those legs, girl. <laughs> hey, guys. Just checking in. It is 8-12. Yep. And I'm headed to my dermatologist appointment with my boo and my little love. Can you see her in the mirror? <laughs> with the tuffed animals like all in her face. Uh, destination is on your right. 625 East Nicolet Boulevard. Wow, this is cool. We're taking a different way uh, to the dermatologist. We've, I've never been there, we've never been there. Um, we know it's on like a road where like all of the hospitals are, but the GPS is taking us away. We've like, ne like in a residential area. It's, really nice houses. Mm. I think Minnesota has nice houses, don't you, babe? Is that a yes? Yes? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like them. I feel like they look really nice. And they all of them, I feel like, have decks. Oh, that one's getting ready for Halloween decorating. But anyways, yeah, I'm on my way to my television appointment. My love is taking me. Or my loves, I should say. And, yeah. Uh, hopefully, they say, oh, everything looks great. We don't have to remove anything. But I guess we will see. I'm just like looking around at all these houses because we've never been here before. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. I Like I said yesterday, I didn't have like a lot of footage because I was just like running around. And swim lessons took me a lot longer to like get, like once it was done to like get home and get situated. It took me a lot longer than usual. 
But um, anyways, I will check in with you guys after the appointment. Hopefully they don't cut anything off. Although the thing on my eye, I'm hoping they do remove it because I don't know what it is, honestly. And I don't even know how to explain it. Do you? It's like, I don't even know if I can even... You don't look at my eyebrows because you know they need to get done. I don't know. Can you see that? I don't even know. My eyes were closed. I don't even know if I was even filming that in other than you probably saw. Oh, massage must be right there. So this takes you all the way. Hmm. Learning new routes. So we've been here a year and a half. But, um, okay, well, I hope they remove that because I really don't know what that is. And then I have, like, the two moles I want them to look at. And then I don't know if she's going to want to look at, like, inspect my whole body. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, so. I will check in with you guys later. Hopefully all is good with my skin. And yeah. I finished my dermatology appointment and everything went great. It was super quick, huh, babe? I was like literally in and out. Um, and I think it just took longer because like the new patient paperwork I had to fill out. But she looked at all my moles. She looked at one, two, three, four moles. And she said they all look great and good. So she does not see any reason for her to remove them unless I want them removed. But then I would have to like, if you, like choose to get a mole removed and they don't think it's necessary it's cosmetic so insurance doesn't cover that so I could pay for it but I was like honestly I've had these moles for as long as I can remember I really don't I'm not here for cosmetic reasons I'm here to make sure you know you don't see anything wrong with my moles and nothing could be like cancerous you know so that's oh they're building something new babe wow there's our new chick-fil-a oh you can't even see it <laughs> but we just got a chick-fil-a that opened like two weeks ago it looks like they're building something out cool yay um but yeah so she said they all look good and that like little white bump on my eyelid that I tried to show you guys I really don't even know if you guys saw it but it's called milia it's Amelia. it's a milia I think it's milia I don't know I, whenever I say that I feel like I'm saying million like Christina million I feel like that's what I'm saying anyways but it's just like some like white like hard pimple pretty much and it, she says I have to take a needle to it so I need to like pierce it with a needle and then take two q-tips to pop it like I would a pimple and she's like it should come right out otherwise she can do it for 50 bucks and I was like let me try to do it first and she says honestly she's like it's so easy to do she tells everyone to do it this way which I was surprised a doctor would say that you would think a doctor would be like yeah I'll do it 50 bucks like to take the money but she was super sweet and nice and then she gave me like a, a facial routine to do because my face has been breaking out pretty badly ever since um Having a laundra, you know, your body goes through all these hormones and changes. So she gave me that too. So I got to get that at the pharmacy. But yeah, so everything went really good for my dermatologist appointment. I'm so happy that everything went well. And now it's not even nine o'clock yet. And I don't go to work till 10 because I switched my schedule to go back late. So that kind of stinks, but it was worth it. And now I can have a peace of mind. And now I can call my mom and say, mom, leave me alone with my moles. But now we're at Costco getting some gas. And then I'm headed to Trabajar. Okay. Dame my gasolina. Okay, I'm going now. <laughs> See, mommy's home. Yay, mommy. So I'm home. It is almost 7 o'clock, or maybe it is 7 o'clock by now. It is. It's 7 p.m. So we just got home from a long day. Alondra and Daddy were busy, huh? Taking care of mommy's car for her. So, bad news. Oh, Angel. I love when she does that. Bad news, I need a new alternator on my freaking car, which really sucks because we weren't prepared for that. Like, we heard, like, a noise in my car, what, a week now maybe? And I was like, what's that noise? And he's like, I don't know. So I need an oil change, and I also need to, like, what, honey? The, like, the 90,000-mile, like, update or whatever on your car, inspection on the car. So and they, we figure, well, while we do that, let's get – this noise checked out and they're like yep you need a new alternator so we didn't make an appointment through toyota we found someone else who would do it cheaper what is it honey what is this better okay well let me check in with you guys later because i need to see what my baby needs dinner is served look how good that is what did you put on your rice sriracha and oyster sauce oh, i forgot you like that oyster sauce what do we have chef Chicken confit. Chicken confit? Oh, excuse me. Que fancy. And what is on top of my asparagus? Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, well, time to eat then. Mmm, look at that sexy man. And look at this pretty girl. 
Are you eating your puffs? Oh, I put five on here, so maybe she did. I only see two. Are you eating it? Good girl. Time to eat. Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight. Um, my stomach is killing me. It's been killing me for the past like couple hours since like work. I think since like 5:36 ish. But I don't know. It's still really bothering me. And I, don't, I took an ibuprofen, and I don't know. It's still bothering me. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and goodnight. Say goodnight. Iram is giving Alondra a shower, and then I'm going to nurse her and go to bed. It's already 8:25. Did I see the time already? I don't know. But, um, so yeah, so basically just getting ready for the nighttime routine. And I usually do this part with her, but he's doing it just because my stomach's bothering me and I just don't feel comfortable, like, holding her in the shower and just, like, doing all of that. So, he's taking one for the team. Um, but yeah, so pretty much that's all I have. I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight because more than likely when I get her ready for bed, I will probably pass out as well. And I'm just editing the JPEG, um, for yesterday's vlog because I never, um, finish editing it and uploaded it so I'm gonna go ahead and try to hurry up and do that while they're in the shower and then that way I can go to bed as well so I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up it definitely helps and I will see you guys tomorrow so have a great day bye